boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you the text, What Makes a Plant? And while I'm reading it, I'm going to be teaching you about some of the text features you will find in this nonfiction text. To start, we open up the book and we see the table of contents. The table of contents is an important text feature that will let you know what page to find specific information. For example, if I wanted to go straight to the section about science, I would look to Let's Do Science and I'd go to page 20 because that's where it begins. For this lesson, we're going to go in order though. Life cycle. Plants are living things that grow and change over time. They have life cycles. Oh, boys and girls, I noticed there's um, a heading up at the top of this page. A heading is kind of like your title for that specific page, and it tells you what that page is all about. So it's telling me the main idea of this page, and it's all about the life cycle. I also noticed this little box. This is called a caption. This is something that text, uh, this is a text feature that some books have to teach you what is in the picture or the photograph. This one says Grandpa Tree. The oldest tree is over 4,000 years old. And then right below that caption, we see the picture of the Grandpa Tree. A plant starts its life cycle as a seed. The seed needs water, air, soil, and sunlight. First, the seed grows roots in the soil, or dirt. The roots help the plant absorb water. Oh, boys and girls, I noticed this word roots is bold. That's also a text feature that's important when you're reading nonfiction text. Bold words let you know it's an important word, and you probably can find it in the glossary. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Next, the stem grows. Oh, I see a caption. Let's read it together. This plant grows roots and then a stem. It carries water and food through the plant. Ooh, another caption. Big stems. A tree trunk is just a huge stem. So we had a caption here on this page. We read together and then also one on the other page. Remember, captions are a sentence or two that tells us what is in the photograph. The plant also grows leaves. The leaves absorb sunlight. Lots of leaves. There are many different kinds of leaves. They come in lots of shapes and sizes. Sunlight helps the plant make food. Some plants grow flowers. Ready? Let's read this caption together. This is a yellow dandelion flower. Good job. The flowers make seeds that grow into new plants. This girl blows dandelion seeds. New plants. Oh, I noticed that's another heading for this page, so this information here should be all about the new plants. New plants will look like its parents' plants. Do you notice this big picture here, boys and girls? This is actually called a diagram. This is another text feature that you find in a lot of nonfiction text. A diagram is a picture that helps you learn by not having to read any of the words. You're simply looking at the picture. I can tell in this picture that a new plant grows from a corn seed. You can also add captions to diagrams like you see here. The new plant will grow leaves and seeds too. New seeds grow inside these tomatoes. The life cycle begins again. Oh, boys and girls, I see a lot of text features on this page. First, we have our caption here next to our tomato picture, so it's telling us what is in that picture. But then also, I see some labels. The leaves are labeled, flowers are labeled, the stem is labeled, roots are labeled, and also on the other page, the seed. It's important that you have labels on your plant picture also when you do one in your ranger journal. That's the end of the book. On the back, you notice there's a glossary and an index. Boys and girls, you're going to get to make a glossary for your ranger journal. A glossary is a text feature that non-information um, books have to help you understand what a new word is. For example, if I wanted to know what life cycles meant, I could look in the glossary and I can read exactly what it means. 
life cycles, series of stages that living things go through as they grow older. Hmm, interesting. On the other page, you notice there's an index. You don't have to make an index for your ranger journal, but you could if you wanted to. An index is a part of the book that tells you where certain words are found. So for example, if I wanted to look up the word stem, any page that talked about the stem of the plants will be listed at the index. So for this one, stem I can find on page 10, 11, and page 19. All right, it's your turn, boys and girls. You're going to seesaw these two questions to your teacher. For the first one, you're gonna look at the table of contents. The first question says, what page can you go to and find information about new plants? Make sure you tell your teacher what page that is. And also the second question says, what is one text feature you see on these pages? So I want you to look at the pages of the tomato plant and tell your teacher what text features you see on those pages. Good job, boys and girls.